starting. Hi, Peter Charles here, Hooked for Life Fly Fishing. And today let's talk about bass flies and more particularly adjusting our fly selection according to the, the time of the year. Because what we found on our local river, and I'm sure it's true of other rivers, is that as the season progresses, bass become fussier. Uh, our season opens the fourth uh, Saturday in June and extends, I believe, until November, if I remember correctly. So the type of pattern we see generally is at the beginning of the season, which is June into July, the flies I've got in front of me, all of them are going to work. It doesn't matter which one you chuck at them. Whether you use a floating line, a sinking line, a surface presentation, a sunk presentation, a slow one, a fast one, it really doesn't matter. I mean, in this particular shot, I was... Uh, had a black ghost on the dangle. <laughs> I was busy talking to the camera. Uh, a black ghost on the dangle doesn't look very good, and which is this one right here, by the way, if you're not sure what a black ghost looks like. And, uh, you know, it, it, this is not a great performer on the dangle. I mean, the fly will end up looking kind of like this with the tail, uh, sorry, the, the hook gap uh, sagging badly. I mean, it's not a great looking presentation, the bass still hit it. So, you know, it'll hit a fly that doesn't look good on the dangle early season. And so there wasn't anything going on there. I could have used any of these flies, but as the season goes on, things start to change. Now I'm still in early season, okay? And what I've got there is a bass bunny bug, which is this beastie right here. And I'm fishing it on a floating line just underneath the surface and these bass are coming up and hitting it. You can see the the bunny bug that you can see in the in the screen and it's uh, got, um, oh, let me stop that, uh, except for the weeds it was covered in, you know, it, it will work. It's a great fly, uh, but I was fishing it high, just under the surface. The bass were coming up and whacking it. And you know, here's another one, same thing, came up and hit it just under the surface. Now we're moving on to mid-season, and I'm going to start cutting back. I'm going to take a lot of these flies out that I won't use as the season progresses. Now we're getting into more realistic patterns, all right, and um, bottom patterns. So that's where we're transitioning to weighted flies, in realistic patterns because they're getting fussier and you can see I'm just slowly swinging a brown trout weemer here and I'm picking up fish and it's a very slow presentation I'm not trying to add much action uh, in the next video that I, I stripped it a little bit and gave it a little bit of action as it's moving into the dead water uh, so you know the brown trout weemer was working along with the intermediate line get it down slow it down give it a more realistic pattern here I'm using a twitch fly, which is this guy right here. Uh, and, you know, it's rubber legs. Bass love rug, rubber legs. This is, again, mid-season. And what I'm trying to do here in mid-season is present more across the stream. And so the presentation is more dead drift with perhaps a, just a little pull, uh, a little sideways motion. Uh, one, this one's a little bit downstream, and it, it gets me a fish right off the bat. Uh, and but you know I'm I'm sort of keeping things moving rather slowly as you can see I'm not stripping or anything I'm just tightening up the line and here I'm just tightening line as I've cast upstream just keeping contact for when the fish hits so it's about adjusting the fly and the presentation to the pressure that the fish are feeling because what we found is the further it goes through the season, the tougher these fish are to catch. And we basically proved it. Uh, one of my buddies went on a bushwhacking trip. Same river, the Grand River, but he, he found an area that was really tough to get into. So he figured, you know, if I put the effort into getting in there, I might find some willing bass. And this was, you know, late summer. He had a fish fest because nobody went in and fished that area. So it shows that the bass are there, but they've just become more and more selective and tougher to catch the more the season wears on where there's angling pressure. And where there isn't, they're basically the same the whole season. So as the time wears on, I'm going to start cutting some of these out. And I'm going to, you know, reduce these 
to a, a simpler selection because you know as the season goes on it's going to get tougher and tougher now this is late season this would have been probably September and I've moved to a brown trout weemer and I'm using a sinking line now the current of course is, is deep enough and fast enough that warrants a sinking line obviously I wouldn't use a sinking line in really slow water but all I'm doing is letting that swing on the end of a sinking line and then when it moves into the shallow softer water I'll strip it to you know to keep it up and not snag but bottom line is I had to adjust the flies and the uh, presentation and the line as the season progresses so that's something to keep in mind when you're out fishing uh, don't use the same flies without thinking about it cut your selection down this is uh, this is a bottom fly this is a bottom fly it rides hook point up look at the commonality here you've got three realistic patterns and then you've got this little guy here which doesn't get too deep and then the ones heavily weighted and get deep they all right hook point up they're designed to be dragged along the bottom so that's how I adjust my fly selection as the season goes on so it means it's you know, I'm staying consistent with how the fish are behaving they're you know reacting to fish sorry reacting to flies more selectively with the greater the pressure and the more the season progresses so that's how my selection evolves and it's been working so far, but next time I'll have to make that bushwhacking trip. Cheers.